Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So Twitter was down, Bet365 was down, Canva was down, Udemy was down, even ChatGPT was also down. Some of the companies experienced the downtime with respect to applications, even with respect to their CICD systems. All of that is only because of Cloudflare. So Cloudflare experienced downtime because of one of their internal services receiving unusual traffic. What exactly is Cloudflare and why it led to this downtime? What do we know about this issue till now? And what is the status of the issue at this point of time? Let's learn all of that in this video. Make sure you watch this video till the end. So what exactly is Cloudflare? Let's try to understand this in very, very simple words. As end users, when you try to access an application, it can be Twitter, it can be ChatGPT, your request flows through Cloudflare. So Cloudflare is the one that receives the request and forwards the request to the applications. But why companies use Cloudflare? Cloudflare does not offer a single service. It actually offers multiple services. And the most critical ones are their CDN. So Cloudflare offers content delivery network. Cloudflare also offers web application firewall. It also helps applications with privacy, load balancing, and even with respect to caching. So imagine a company wants to implement any of these features or all of these features, instead of implementing them within their application, they can offboard the features to Cloudflare. So instead of developers in the company implementing these features, organization, typically DevOps or SRE engineers, can onboard Cloudflare, which takes care of all of these activities. Mostly companies use Cloudflare for CDN and security related features. Now, this is exactly what happened. Cloudflare reports one of their internal services. We are not really sure which service, but one of their internal services experienced unexpected traffic. Now, whenever we hear this word unexpected traffic, we often talk about or we often think of DDoS attack, that is denial of service attack, but there are two possibilities here. Number one, this can be surge in the traffic. Or number two, this can be DDoS attack. There is a fine difference between them. Search is basically unexpected traffic from known users. So imagine Cloudflare receives 1 million requests per minute, but all of a sudden Cloudflare started receiving 1.5 million requests per minute. And this additional 500k request if they are from known users, this is called search. But if this 500k additional request is from bad actors who are intentionally planning to bring Cloudflare down, down, then it is called as denial of service attack. Previously, if I remember well, Cloudflare actually hit the denial of service attack from some bad actors. But at this point of time, from the initial information, it looks like this is not denial of service attack, but this is search from known users. Again, we are not really sure what are these unexpected requests and which internal service hit this surge in the traffic. So overall, Cloudflare went down and because Cloudflare went down, all the major companies like X, it can be Udemy, Bet365, even ChatGPT using Cloudflare went down. Now, why did companies report that their CI-CD was failing? Now, even companies reported that their CI-CD systems were failing or their pipelines were failing. What is the reason behind it? Now, if your organization application goes down, okay, it is expected. Maybe your organization is using Cloudflare. Because of that, it went down. But why can the CI-CD pipelines go down? The reason is simple. Imagine 
you are using java applications and you have a pom.xml which is downloading the dependencies from let's say jfrog just for understanding and if jfrog has implemented cloudflare for their security purpose right as simple as verifying the request is coming from a human or a robot right let's say jfrog wants to handle this and they have implemented cloudflare so request from this pom.xml actually goes to cloudflare only then it goes to jfrog now when the ci cd pipeline is running and when the ci cd pipeline is downloading the dependencies because request goes through cloudflare to the jfrog even the pipeline can fail because of not able to download the dependencies overall internet is impacted because of this thing what is the current status we have a good news so this is a official page that is maintained by cloudflare cloudflare system status and this says exactly 11 to 12 minutes ago if you look at the utc time it's 1457 so cloudflare says at 1457 they have implemented a fix sorry at 1442 they have implemented a fix and they believe the incident is resolved however some customers so this is a good news for majority of the customers but some customers are still experiencing the issue so kind of a good news that majority of the customers are unblocked i verified some of the websites as well like chat gpt udemy they are back to normal let's wait for the complete issue to be resolved and let's also wait for rca from cloudflare when we look at the root cause analysis we will learn more about this issue so for now this is what we know if you want to know what is cdn one of the major services provided by cloudflare i'll share the link in the description you can follow that and even learn about cdn in detail for now thank you so much for watching the video if you feel i missed something do let me know in the comment section more than happy to learn once the rca is out i will make a very detailed video explaining what exactly went down see you all in the next video take care